Hello and welcome back to Undisputed Boxing Career Mode. It is that time once again for Lucas Dimitri to come out here in the fourth installment of this career mode. Last time out, we had some great efforts, some great wins, and we look to do the same in this episode. I'm gonna actually take some time right now to look at our stats. Our power in the left hand, right hand, jab isn't really that good. So I think going forward, we're really gonna look to get our power up in those hands as well as our defense up. I also wanna check our counter punching, only a 61. So that's something that we can definitely get up going forward. I probably want it at maybe a 70, 75 eventually at some point. The power in our hands though, we definitely need to get that up probably this training camp because I really want some more knockouts. It's been a decision machine for Lucas Dimitri and hopefully in our next fight, we'll come back out here and get a huge knockout win. All right, and here we are. I mean, we have coaches that need to be hired again. And honestly, I don't mind the coaches, the people that we have right now until we can get better coaches, cut men, and a manager, we're just gonna keep the same three. I feel like it's a good team. We've been winning so far with Lucas Dimitri and these people on his squad. So let's just keep moving forward and keep picking up the victories. Let's make sure that we're staying trained up and we are. We also want to be on weight. So next week, I'm going to switch back to the focus of being back on weight. Get that down just a tad and we are 162. So let's go back to the sharpness. Make sure we're sharp and ready to fight. It's that time to schedule a fight. And I'm not sure. John Robinson or Dion Carlton. I'm pretty sure we fought both of these guys before, and maybe it's that time that we take a huge step up. Lucas Dimitri is a 57, so I will be looking for somebody kind of close to a 57 to fight, but I'm not really seeing anybody. Everybody that we've fought so far is pretty much out of the running of fighting us again, and everybody on the board right now is leagues above us. Only person I see is a 43rd ranked Troy Reed, 62 overall, weight 175. This is the guy I'm gonna fight. 100% sir. A 10% purse cut as well. That's crazy. They're definitely trying to cut us out the contract. Fight insurance. Let's go for, I want 12 weeks. Or actually, let's do let's do eight weeks. We'll do an eight week training camp, no rematch. Fight promotion taking 15%. That looks good to me. Three media activities in the obligations. Okay, we have to make sure to keep that in mind. We have three media obligations, so we cannot miss those, and I think it's time. We might end up going to Santiago's gym here, $9,500 for the sign-up fee, and there it is. Train hard, be strong. 300 fame, there's no minor injuries. Interesting, okay. That's actually a really good benefit to training here. Only two times XP though, so maybe it would have been better to go to the other location. I'm live streaming a game of Undisputed, I guess, for my fans. Lucas Dimitri and I guess everybody watching right now is pretty much like watching this video. I got a couple more media things to do, so I'm definitely gonna have to keep up on those. Training, we're looking to get our guard up. I like that. We probably need to do one more training, or let's do a media. We'll do a media, social media post, then we'll do one training, and then we'll do a recovery as well to end it off. I think something like... Let's do the speed bag. That got us perfectly into fight sharpness. And hopefully the recovery, it of course, drops us down to sluggish and our fight sharpness is now under trained. I thought it was gonna be an easy fight, especially going forward in this career mode. I thought we were gonna start picking up some more wins, but it looks like this one will be difficult to bounce back from. Lucas Dimitri, it is that time. Now a 64 overall jumped up five overalls from this training camp alone. Hopefully going into this match, he can get a few great punches landed and look for that knockout. That's at least what I expect, but I'm not too sure. But look at Joe Lewis's character right there. Looks just like the man in real life. One thing about this game that I've commented on in the past is the graphics, and that's something that I really do appreciate. Looks next level. All right, it's that time though. Another fight in the books for Lucas Dimitri. It's All his right. seventh pro bout, and hopefully in this one, we'll time. knock this dude clean out. What I say, That's what I'm looking play. to do. Every time Good we come luck. out here, I want the victory, especially by knockout. All right, let's do it. Already moving. And we'll find out what Trory Reed can do in this ring. I'm not too sure. He looks like a power puncher. I didn't really check out his profile too much or his potential. I just kind of know that our skills are what they are and we'll be able to win this fight as long as we keep fighting the way we, that we know how to and Lucas Dimitri keeps working that jab. Good defense, but that reach, he definitely has me beat so I might have to look to go inside. 
And a great jab once again. Moving that head off the line. Stepping back and using that footwork Lucas Dimitri is. And a beautiful jab once again. That's, that's going to be their all fight. For sure. Jab, left hand. Beautiful. Let's look for the body punches. There they go. One more. And there's a third. Oh my goodness. Good punch from Reed though. And we know he has power behind those hands. Just look at his body type. I'm not even sure if he made weight for this fight. He's coming in at 175. And I think the weight max is 168 for this weight division in middleweight. Good punch, though, to the body. And a beautiful left hand clips him. Exactly what I thought. Touching it up to the body now. Looking for the knockout punch. Go up top and a beautiful body shot. Puts him right down to a knee in the middle of that ring. Looking for the combination. And there it is. Absolutely crushes him to that body. Let's see it one more time from a different angle. Beautiful body punch. Sets him up and he goes right down to the floor. Lucas Dimitri is a bad man when it comes down to the game of boxing. I wonder what he does besides boxing. Gets my mind thinking. He must be doing nothing but training, thinking about becoming the champ and going out there and accomplishing his goals. But here he is. He's got a 130 heart rate. Want to make sure to keep that low. Good jab once again. A beautiful left hand just missing the face of Mr. Reed. Stepping back, using that footwork. Beautiful, stay off the center line, a great slip. Oh, and a beautiful uppercut as well. Coming in and clipping the man on the chin. Troy Reed been throwing some really good punches this fight. Some very strong power punches, and he looks like maybe a counter puncher in his own right. Not moving forward as much anymore. He kind of knows exactly what to expect when you come towards Lucas Dimitri. It's gonna be hands on your face and your body punching you in all different locations. Let's go. First round definitely in the books for Lucas Dimitri, and it's definitely a first round for him. Great jab. Let's start looking for a three-piece combination, but not like that. Gotta come with something a bit more crappy. Beautiful butt. Body punch, but it's blocked. Oh, and a great two-piece from Mr. Reed. Gotta watch my stamina. I'm sluggish, and I'm not in fight shape. That's the main thing that you really have to focus on is being fight ready so that you can come out here and put the best showing with your skills on display. But I like it though, we're staying on the outside, making sure that we keep moving and a beautiful left hand comes in and clips the man. Mr. Reed, what can you do? We'll find out. Good jab, looking for the third punch and just missing. Looking to switch to the southpaw, Lucas Dimitri with a good jab, steps back. Looking for the body punch now, there it is. Beautiful, keep moving it. Keep moving them hands. Step back and keep using defense. Move them feet, move them hands, and we'll get the victory. Beautiful three plus combination. Looking for a counter, and there it is. Awesome. A slip right almost. Leaning to his right, lands a beautiful punch, and now looking for the knockout, going to the body, and he clips him with two uppercuts. He's done. Mr. Reed is over with. The uppercut sent him into a different dimension, and we're gonna have to see that one again from a different angle. I mean, look at this. Beautiful uppercut, and the next one, Pretty much kills him. Goes straight back onto his back, for lack of better words. Straight to the body, left hand, right hand, and a great uppercut to break the guard. And another one that comes right up and crushes him. Troy Reed, definitely a man that's gonna have to work through the adversity of this fight. Lucas Dimitri is on one, him, hardcore two, right now. Three, and I'm hoping four, that he'll get five, up and we'll six, get this great victory. Seven. There he is, getting up at seven, showing the heart that I know he has. He seems like the type of fighter to be able to get up from these punches, you know? Usually, within three, it's over. So we're looking for the knockout now. It's looking really good, and there's a beautiful knockdown once again. Just coming out, hitting to the body a couple times, and it is fight over. Absolutely destroyed him with the right hook to the body, and it's game over for Troy Reed. Mr. Reed, he came out here and fought decently. I'm not going to say he fought good at all. One, he didn't rock me, but he two, had some good showings three, and a lot of power four, in those hands. Five, six, seven, I don't think he's getting up here. Eight, and even if he tries, nine, it could be a knockout. And it is. It is all over here. A knockout once again. Finally, third knockout in seven. It's his third knockout in seven career fights. Lucas Dimitri looking red as a tomato after a great showing in the square circle. Look, I'm not gonna lie, that was definitely a gimme fight. That was a fight that I really needed to win and I went out there and won it. I was expected to win, I was the 
the favorite, and he was the underdog. So I pretty much had to, or else my career was off the tracks. But I think next fight, I'm really going to look for a 70 overall. It's going to be a very tough fight. And honestly, I'm not even sure if I really want to challenge myself that much because it might be a loss for Lucas Dimitri. 135 fame, $2,500 in the bank, and 23 staff XP. WBC up two, IBF up three, and the WBO, I'm jumping up one. A great showing with the A overall, F rank, B offense, A defense, A accuracy, A damage management, and an A result. 12 coach affinity, and look at that. I need to block power punches to the head, finish a fight without getting a cut, block power punches to the body, and finish a fight without suffering any swelling. I think it's going really good for Lucas Dimitri in his career right now. And here we go. A higher tier coach is now available to hire. Better coaches will provide greater XP rewards when training in fighter camp. And it's that time. Let's find the new coach. We've seen the tutorial before and they had nothing but E rank coaches. Now we can get a D rank coach, finally. Not that great of a upgrade, but at least we're moving on up. 3,200, taking 2%. I'm just looking through here. Minimum fame, 500 minimum fame. Okay, active for three fights, 2% of earnings, 3% of earnings in three fights. All right, we're going with Ariz Halabi. I think he has a majority better stats than the other coaches. And I think he's gonna definitely let us win more matches going forward, especially by knockout. That's what we're looking to do knock out our opponents let's get sharp though and we are overweight now we have to go back and make sure we're losing weight to stay on track and we are i want to make sure we probably get to maybe 160 a little bit lower in that green to make sure that we're on fight shape and i'm actually going to make sure that we're trained up a bit as well i think we're good to go and patrick Rockall. this might be our next opponent that we go up against i know lucas dimitri is not that great of a fighter he is a 58 and honestly i think i'm moving up a bit too fast so honestly I'm gonna select Jamie Bennett. I know I had Patrick Rookall to fight, but Jamie Bennett, Jamie Bennett, excuse me, is a higher rated fighter and a lower overall. Me personally, I really don't wanna take a loss, especially early in my career, and especially when I'm not that good, in my opinion at least. I could be a lot better, and right now we're just gonna keep moving forward. We're gonna do one media activity because I really don't wanna have to do too much focusing on the media. That's just not the type of fighter I am, me personally. I'd rather just lock in and do exactly what I have to do. Okay, I'm a bit confused now. I'm not too sure exactly why I'm not able to go to the other gyms, but it must be because I don't have enough money to sign up. Or it could be because I have another trainer now, another teacher, essentially, so he doesn't really get into those gyms that I was in before. All right, we're gonna live stream some Undisputed and get right to training. Let's look for stamina regeneration first. Offensive sparring now. Let's look for that. I'm gonna find out how much recovery does for us. I'm not sure how much it'll get back, but let's see right after this. We'll do a punch bag and now we're at 15. So let's do recovery. How much would that get us? Only 50, interesting. Okay, so it only gets us 50% stamina back. And I think once you get to 85, you're in the charged up range for energy. So as long as we can keep it about 35 and then get that 50% recovery, or that 50 recovery, we should be ready for the fight every single training camp. I'm looking for the power punching now. I don't throw too many power punches though, because it drains your stamina like crazy. It's best just to kind of piece them up with the softer punches and look for something that will take them out later on in the fight. Let's work on that punch speed, and I'm overtrained. I am very much overtrained. So let's look for maybe we have one more. We probably have one more training to do. So let's make sure we pick it wisely. And we're gonna go counter punching for 65. We're also gonna do some recovery and we'll do recovery one more time to get back on fight ready sharpness, weight ready to go and 100% charged up. If there was a fight that I was gonna go out here and knock this dude out in one round, it would be this fight. I hope everybody's ready for Lucas Dimitri versus Jamie Bennett, a fighter that I think I can go out here and whoop pretty easily. So hopefully, I'll get that victory and I'll see everybody out there when it's time. Wait a minute, am I missing something? Why are my why are my traits all changed up? Is that because if I got a new coach or hold on, let me check this out. Let me check this out. I'm not sure exactly what's going on with my boxer, but it looks like my traits have changed up. Second win. Why is this what? Wow, okay, so you need a higher affinity to unlock the other abilities. Great. So I guess after getting up from a knockdown, I deal 25% more damage 
and reduce stamina cost of 25% for 30 seconds. I guess I can only pick this trait too. There is no other traits that I can choose from. So I'm just gonna have to go forward and rock out with this second win ability. The other traits I had, wow, I kind of miss them now. Extra power, 10%, and also the body punches. Those were huge. I put a lot of opponents down with those, especially when they got rocked. So hopefully moving forward, we'll be able to keep getting those knockouts, go into the body, and if we get knocked down, I know we'll get back up firing on all cylinders and it's that time once again what's up with this venue i'm trying to get into a different venue maybe with some more fans in here but that last time i fought at the burn box in my last fight i'm not fighting there again there's no fans and trust me it's like if i don't get the quick knockdown or the quick knockdown or knockout the crowd is silent in there there's no reactions your coach ain't making no noise it's just you and the punches well let's do it jamie benavides or jamie Jamie Benavides. I'm thinking of um, Benavides from the UFC, but look at Bennett, James Bennett, that is, and a good jab now. We're starting in a southpaw, which I really don't enjoy, but we're looking for a knockout, though. Beautiful punch and a great left hand as well. That extra power definitely helped us out, but we're going to keep fighting like our life depends on it because it does. A great three-piece oh, three combination. I thought I missed the uppercut. A bit tongue-tied as well, and a great body straight trying to land it. We have not been on fight shape and fight sharpness in so long, so it feels great to be here and finally ready for this fight. Way to move ahead, Lucas Dimitri, beautiful body punch, three-piece combination, looking to change the punch level up, and there it is, great combination once again. If we can keep landing these three-punch combinations, we got them in the bag, I'm talking about. In the bag, we got this dude. Oh, come on, keep moving that face. Head movement, good jab. Beautiful combination. Maybe looking for a knockout now. Run up on him. Run up on him. Good jab. Beautiful body punch. He'd probably be down by now, but we're looking for it. Beautiful combination. Uppercut. Look for the uppercut. Oh, we'll take it. A body punch. Ends up dropping him. And I was looking for the uppercut. I was looking for something that was going to fluster him. Look at that uppercut, man. That uppercut would have killed him. The lead uppercut is something that Lucas Dimitri possesses. And it's fast, super fast. If he can land that punch a couple times in a fight, it's going to be a long night for Mr. Bennett One, here. Two, three, Count of four, four now. Five. And he's up at five. A quick five, too. And a fair five count as well. Let's go, though. I'm ready. And he could still be dazed. He is. Looking to come out here for the knockout now. Beautiful. Beautiful power punch. Looking for it. And he's down that quick and that fast. Lucas Dimitri is looking for a few finishes this episode. That's the way it's done, man. We're throwing huge punches. And we got to come out here and make sure to maintain this pressure. We went body, body, body three times and then went up high with the right hook. Jamie Bennett had no idea what hit him there. And it looks like he will not be getting up. We'll find out if he has heart. Hopefully he does. Count of six, and he's up to his feet. That is also the end of the round, so we'll find out if he'll make it through the second round. I got 82% health. It doesn't seem like that, though. I'll tell you what. It does not seem like that. And a beautiful combination. Good little jab from Lucas Dimitri. And another great punch. There it is. Good left hand. Going to slip. There he is. Lucas Dimitri now in full effect. Moving around. You see the sweat. Coming off his brow and on his chest. He's definitely locked in and he's fight ready. Slipping punches, going left and right of his face. The hook almost caught him, but it went behind his head. There it is, good combination as well. Oh my goodness, the crowd getting wild off of that punch. We know Lucas Dimitri has the power and he possesses it. He's, let, he's ready to let it go at any moment and we're looking to do that right now. Stepping back. Jamie Bennett now looking like he could be out of here. I'm looking for a good body punch. I mean, it'd probably do a lot more damage if we had those abilities, I'm sure. But we got to keep moving forward and keep fighting. Stepping off the center line now. Just keep moving them feet. Let me know, though. Do you guys like Lucas Dimitri's style? Would you guys like me to change it up? Me personally, this is how I fight online. 
I fight on the back foot, kind of counter style, let them overexert themselves, and then go in for the knockout. I don't know, that's just me though. Me personally, I'm not really a swarmer. My reactions aren't the fastest, but they're still pretty quick enough to be a counter style fighter. It's just when you're a swarmer, you really gotta be on it. And Lucas Dimitri is on it tonight. A beautiful body uppercut and then comes right back down with the right body hook. I mean, that's exactly what you wanna see from a fighter, especially in this point in his career. Great body uppercut and he comes in with that right body hook and floors Mr. Bennett to the ground. This is only the second fight and I might even do four in this one. I'm actually gonna keep it three. I'm, I'm, I'm taunting it just a bit. I'm having a little bit of fun. And I don't wanna play around too much with the format of the video. So if you see that it's a shorter video, you probably can tell that it was some good finishes in the fight. Beautiful left hand. And he's gotten up three times already. I did not expect that. I thought he would be down for the count after that third one. But here we are. Still fighting Mr. Jamie Bennett, and it's that time for Lucas Dimitri to look for a knockout. Once again, a beautiful left hand, and we're gonna have to keep moving that face, or we'll get knocked out. Good right hand coming in, and we see our head health slowly but surely deteriorating, excuse me, slowly but surely, and we're gonna have to keep them hands up and make sure that we don't get touched up. Oh, good punch coming in. Try to come in with that right hook. It's a little squirrely. Good jab, left hand as well. Good slip, beautiful. And it could be all over for Bennett. I think it is. Looking for the body and a beautiful right hook. Almost knocks him out with a second. And Jamie Bennett is all but over. Beautiful right hand, floors him. And it's over for that man. He can't do anything about it. And Jamie Bennett now looking up at the stars. Eyes rolled back in his head after a flush right hook to the mouth. And here's the count. He's getting up quick, but I don't think he'll get up from this. Here's eight, nine, and he's back to his feet at the count of nine. This man has the heart of a lion. I don't know what his abilities are, but they must be the one to get up very quickly. I'm pretty sure Tyson Fury has that one, but a beautiful combination again, and it's over for this man. It's over for him. Look at him in the corner, tied up on the ropes. A beautiful combination, right hook lands flush, and there it is, the right hook almost caught him as he went back down, and look at him in that corner, man. He is distraught, and I don't think he's getting up after that one. It's all over here. At least it should be. The Seven Hills Boxing Club has witnessed a murder. And he's getting up though. Eight, nine, 10, finally. A KO after being dropped five or six times. I'm not even sure Jamie Bennett is finally out. Lucas Dimitri, another win, another fight, and of course, another knockout. No surprise, I think that might be his third or fourth knockout in his career, and we're looking pretty good. Look, you don't gotta knock out everybody to become the greatest. Floyd Mayweather, 50 and 0. Not every one of those was a knockout. But every time I think about knocking out the opponent, every time you go out there, I think of The Rock, Rocky Marciano. He had that 13th round knockout as well. He almost lost it all. So remember to keep fighting. That's what Lucas Dimitri has to keep doing. All right, but here we are with the earnings. $3,000, 135 fame, and eight staff XP. Moving up five in the WBC, five in the IBF, three in the WBO. SCI, we're staying stagnant at 29. Finally, finally another A. A B offense, A defense, A accuracy, A damage management with an A result. The opponent rank, of course, an E. I think they'll always give you an E if they're lower ranked and they'll give you probably a higher if they're ranked higher or how much higher they're ranked. But here we go, back on weight. And of course, another week after the fight, we must get down on weight and we are. I'm about to do it right now. And we have a fight ready, but I'm not personally ready. Now I'm max trained, ready for my sharpness, and let's negotiate this fight. Elon Turner. This is a fighter that I wanted to fight, I think, earlier, and I just never got the chance to. So I think that might be the fighter we go for. Jorge Ortiz is there, David Turner as well. That might be a fight that we take up next episode. I'm looking through here, some good fighters, and Elon Turner sitting at a 64. 
I'm going to find out if I fought him before. Let's see. I'm not sure if I did. And I did not. It looks like he lost to Ortiz Robinson TKO. He beat him in it with a TKO. Excuse me. Split decision. And it looks like he had a rematch. I'm like looking at his fights. I think he's on a, a four fight win streak right now. He definitely has not had a fight with me. So Elon Turner is the man next up to challenge the best. He is a high octane fighter. Let's do it. Let's begin these negotiations. I want a 50% 50, 50 purse, me personally. All right. And I'm going to go to Santiago Gym. That's just where I want to fight personally. Let's do seven weeks, no rematch clause, zero media activity. Actually, I want 10,000 for this fight, me personally. Let's see if we can get 54% of the fight purse. Six round fight against Elon Turner. And there it is. $10,000 in the bank at Santiago Gym. They wanted me at Mickey Ward's. I'm not doing it. I'm just not going for it. You're going to really have to put me through the ringer if you want me to go there. And I think, actually, I'm going to go to... Mm, I'm going to go to Santiago's Gym. This is where we're fighting. So it seems fitting that I would get down there first to Brazil. Get ready, get acclimated, and get prepared for this fight. My power punching, uppercuts, and the hooks almost at 70. We're looking through. I'm doing counter punching for sure. I'm ready for the counter punch. I'm ready to be that man in there. And I know exactly what I have to do to prevail in this fight. Get my endurance up. Let's do some recovery. Get it back up to 95 charged up. No surprise. We're going to do a little bit of offensive sparring. We're also going to do one more training drill. I'm thinking some yoga. Get us prepared mentally spiritually and then recovery of course that's the last thing you got to do make sure you're recovered make sure you're ready for the fight no injuries thank the lord finally no injuries and here we go energy 100 percent charged up i'm fight ready with 105 sharpness and i'm 158 on the night i'm actually pretty close to being underweight which is a bit weird but i'm ready for the fight i got no worries going into it and honestly i got some goosebumps for lucas dimitri 21 years young 8-0 with four knockouts. If he wins this fight, he's almost at 10-0. And that's when you really start putting together those huge wins. 10-0, 15-0. Next thing you know, you're 20-0. Next thing you know, you're 25, 30-0. You're the greatest to ever do it at that weight class. That's what we can hope for. And that's what we're looking to do. I'm going to keep moving forward, though. I have no distractions in this fight coming up. But Elon Turner, extremely experienced. I'm looking at maybe 50, at least 50, 50 fights at least. 18, 36, was at 48, 54 plus 7, 61 total fights. If my math's incorrect on that one, yo, bear with me, y'all. <laughs> I'm not a professor, that's for sure. But here we go, it's right. that time. Lucas Dimitri versus Elon Turner. Time. I'm ready, man. This fight right here is a big fight. I mean, he doesn't have the greatest record, 18 losses. But I'm only looking at the experience he has. And he's a high-octane fighter. So let's be ready. Stepping back now. And here he is. We know he's going to come out here throwing those punches and looking for a knockout. He also has Bruiser 2. So I'm pretty sure that has to do with power punches. We're going to want to keep our head off that center line and keep moving our feet. Beautiful footwork now. Stepping off. I like it. I like it. I don't want to rotate to that power hand too much. But I'm going to make sure that we fight the right type of fight. Good defense. Good jab. Good slip. Oh, good left hand, though. Trying to come back with my own punches. It's going to be a little bit tough. Elon Turner is a taller fighter than I am. I can just tell looking at his body type. A bit lankier. But I'm not worried. Good little combination. Keep moving those feet. Stay back. and Use that jab. There we go. As long as we can keep throwing that jab, we'll get this victory. That's for sure. Good left hand. Now looking for an uppercut. Let's see if we can throw it. Beautiful. I want that rear uppercut, though, in the orthodox. Where's it at? Where's it at? There it is. Beautiful combination. Let's see. Boom. Three punch. Slipping off. Keep moving that head, Lucas. And we got it. Good little jab. Stepping back now. Looking for the body straight. Good block from Elon Turner. We know he's an experienced fighter. So we're going to have to learn to break down that defense eventually. High octane. So we don't want to get in there too close. Because he'll fire off a string of punches on us. Like no tomorrow for sure. Good little body punch. Completely missing for Lucas Dimitri. But a good block now. And I got to be in range, but not close enough to get punched. But I got to be close enough to fire off these counter strikes as well. You can't be way out of range being a counter puncher or else 
there's no point in counter fighting. But I'm gonna fight backwards. Beautiful three punch combination. We gotta keep throwing those. There we go. The hook's now landing, finally. And the first round here coming to an end. I'm pretty sure this one might be Luke's. Ooh, good slip as well. Looking for the jab, step off the center line, and another jab, completely missing. But his uppercut is missing as well. Finally, my coach's advice. This is my first time with a coach. The new coach, at least. Or, I'm trying to think. I don't, I don't think this is my first fight. My last fight was my first fight with the new coach. So we kind of have a proven record, a knockout with him, and a beautiful power punch, completely missing, though, and a good block from Lucas Dimitri. Fast hands and fast feet are a recipe for success in the boxing ring. Good little one-two, stepping back. I like it. Start throwing that one-two down the pipe instead of to the body. Oh, good body uppercut. Lead one from Elon Turner. Got to be ready and be weary of some of that. Good punch up top. I like it. A good jab. Completely missing my face. Looking for an uppercut now, but missing as well. My head health is coming down. That's, what's, that's what I'm going to upgrade next, next episode, next fight. It's going to be health stats, man. I'm able to put out the opponents, but I got to be able to take their punches as well. That's probably one of the most important things. As well as not getting hit, using that footwork, not getting put down when you get clipped is also important. Having a chin. Okay, I'm getting a little wild now. Getting a little wild. Let's keep fighting our fight. Let's go southpaw on them. Back and forth. I'm looking for a counter punch to kind of get it started. He's kind of fighting me as well. Pretty nice, actually. Use that jab. Just use that jab, Frank. There we go. The most critical punch in boxing is the jab, so you know we're going to use it flush. Step back. Block that body. Good jab. Keep them hands up high. Good little jab left hand. There we go. Now it's starting to come together. Once you start working that jab, you start finding that all your other punches start landing very nicely. You build that left hook off the jab. It's a beautiful combination when Lucas Dimitri throws it. Let me know, y'all, if I should get a face cam. I'm thinking about it. I just don't got enough money right now in my, in my budget to be buying a face cam. But when I do, I'm going to have the face cam so all y'all can see my face and my expressions and reactions. But let me know. Do y'all think that builds a better video having your face in it? Or do y'all really care about that? Let me know because that's a pretty important question, a pretty important subject going forward on this channel for me. Oh, and he's rocked, and he got put down, Lucas Dimitri. Oh my goodness, not paying attention. And that is what happens when you are not ready to fight. Looking to get up now, and we know his ability. If he gets dropped, he'll have more power and less stamina drain for 30 seconds. Let's get this knockout now. I'm ready. Let's move forward. Here we go. Here we go. The ability is activated. We see it in the bottom left. There we go. There we go. Looking for the knockout. Let's look for it. Keep your head on a swivel, Frank. Keep your head on a swivel. Yeah, I'm not getting dropped again. That's for sure. First round is me. Third round is his. Second round is mine as well. It's probably even now. After that drop, I would give it an even fight. Oh, just missing a power punch coming in. And we got to be very careful not to miss those again. Looking for a body punch now. Keep moving them feet. Keep moving them feet. A four punch combination. And I mean, once we're able to throw those off without much stamina loss, we'll be ready for sure. Good block to the body. There it is again. Lucas Dimitri fighting hard now. And a good jab and a beautiful left hand. Good two punch combination from Elon Turner. And we can see now... Why he has two knockouts in his previous five fights. Great combination there from Lucas Dimitri. Getting in, getting out. Kind of expecting a fight now to break out and ensue. But I am looking for the knockout now. Or a knockdown in this round at least. Especially after he dropped me. That would definitely be good on the judge's scorecard. But he's coming back with some really good punches. I'm going to have to keep my distance. The straight punch that he's landing right now is landing flush. And a great counter. Oh! And almost putting him down. Lucas Dimitri. That's what I'm talking about. Lean that head back away from the straight. Left hook, right hook. Come right back with the flustering hand speed and the hand power. I knew it was going to be an even fight now after he dropped me. No surprise. 
And I see that ability now in full effect. I'm not sure if after I got dropped, it's like that for the rest of the fight or if it's already been activated and now it won't be activated again. I'm not too sure really, but it looks like I'm doing some good damage on him. I want to be a counter fighter for sure. And I am actually wasting less stamina. So I'm pretty sure it's an ability that allows you to fight with it the whole fight after you've been dropped. Pretty helpful, pretty useful. But I mean, it's not something that I really want to rely on because to use it, I had to get dropped to the floor. And when you get dropped, I'm not sure if they have a longevity meter in this game or you can just keep going until you beat everybody in the division, everybody in the game type of deal. But if they have a longevity, that would make this game much better because it would just add a whole nother aspect in not getting hit, making sure you get about the fight with less damage. You know what I'm saying? It just adds a whole nother level. Great combination. Let's start changing it up, Lucas. Huh? Let's go high. Let's go low. Let's take him for a dance. Ooh, good push, though, from Elon Turner. I like it. I'm going to have to go southpaw here. I just feel like it's going to work. Oh, beautiful counter jab. Good left hand as well. Slipping that head back now, Lucas Dimitri. And I'm looking for the knockout. I'm looking for a knockout punch. He's trying to clinch up. We see it. Keep rotating off the center line. There we go. Step back. Step off to the left. I don't want to get caught being stagnant, though. That's the one thing I don't want to be. The judges will take that for complacency, and they'll give him rounds based off that. Also, if it goes to the fifth and sixth round, that's when you really want to start cranking it up. They're going to think about those second, those, sec those last two, last three rounds towards the end of the fight as the monumental rounds that pretty much steal the momentum and steal the judges. So after that round, I'm pretty sure I'm up one more on the scorecards, probably a 29-28 fight now. So I'm hoping a beautiful left hand as well. Working that southpaw. Move the head, Frank. Move the head. Oh, good body punch. The southpaw is not really my style, especially when I'm an orthodox fighter. They start me in the southpaw, though, for some reason. Maybe because Roy Jones Jr.'s stance, or I'm not really sure why they always want to have fun with me like that. But, oh, oh, no! Lucas Dimitri could go down once again, and he's never been dropped twice in one fight. He's been dropped in previous fights and gotten up, but now he's looking to keep fighting. His head health needing to recover, and that's one thing. Your head health will not recover if you have your block up, I'm pretty sure. You got to put your hands down and move around with your feet, which he is doing right now, making sure we're looking good come the end of this round. Good jab. He's trying to throw his own punches. I like it. Good little jab right back at his jaw. Step back. Good jab left hand. Need to step off the center line. Good block. Elon, Turner, and Lucas Dimitri are going at it. Oh, my goodness, man. We're throwing them. That's for sure. Trading blows here. Late in the fifth round. Good jab. I kind of wish this one was eight. I'm not going to lie. I think we might have got the knockout, but we still can get it. He's been rocked. And we're looking for a good counter punch. Beautiful combination. Good left hand. Come right back with the straight. Making it look easy. Making it look effortless. And that's the way you want to fight. Especially against an opponent with so much experience like Elon Turner. He's had fights in his amateur. Probably 50 in his amateur. And now 61 in his pro career. So he's got at least 100 fights under his belt. Good combination now to the body. And a good jab as well to finish that one up. Another jab, good slip, left, right, and there it is. I'm telling you, that right hand, if you throw the hook from the rear, it's obviously going to do a lot more damage than your lead hook. Especially if you slip if you slip to the right and come back with a uh, right hook, it'll do even more damage. That's something that Undisputed likes to say in the career mode uh, menus, or just in the menus in general, I'm pretty sure. If you slip and come back with a hook from the same direction you slipped, It'll do a lot of damage. A lot more than if you came back with like a slip to the right, left hook. Like this. There we go. Beautiful right hook. Good jab now. Work the jab again. Keep that distance with the jab. Stay active with the jab as well. That's something I want to I wanna get. The, um, the jab wizard or whatever. I'm not sure what the ability is called, but once I get it, I'm pretty sure Lucas Dimitri is going to become unstoppable in this boxing ring. Got to keep my hands up, though, because he's throwing a lot of good punches right now. Good slip, though, and a good block to the body. Just gets in that punch. Not what we want to see. 
And this one is looking like a decision. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to overexert myself looking for the victory. Because I truly believe like I got this one in the bag. Good step back. He did drop me earlier. But I mean, I've rocked him twice. And I'm pretty sure that they'll see that. Beautiful body punch. I got to make sure that my punches to the head are not landing on me. There we go. Good little combination. Good slip. Coming right back with a 1-2 down the pipe. Way to move those feet. Keeping off the center line by Lucas Dimitri. I'm going to rotate away from that uh, that lead hand, but I should go the other way now. Away from that power hand. There we go. Turning that face around. Beautiful. Keep them hands up. Keep them hands up. Good jab. Wow. Good head movement from this man. Elon Turner looking good. And a good slip now. Beautiful jab. Looking for the combination to put him out, maybe. I want to look for a drop here. Last 10 seconds of the fight. And I'm not going out like a little wimp, man. I'm going to stay right here in the pocket. And he's clinching up for the last three. No surprise. He got whooped today. A unanimous decision it should be. And that's the way it is. I got dropped once. But I think I won five out of six rounds. You're not going to beat me on a 10-8 when I beat you 10-9 for five rounds. You know what I'm saying? Let's see the scorecards, though. And just what I thought. Third round, he dropped me. 10-8. Elon Turner, great opponent. Not the greatest clip, though. That's one thing I've seen. 20, only 30% of their punches be landing. And I'm not even sure how he dropped me only landing that many punches. All right, though, another great victory in the books. And let's check out these fight rewards. And look at Ryan Garcia. I think it looks a little pale on his character model, but that looks pretty much like him, in my opinion. What y'all think of Ryan Garcia down below? Is he good? Is he bad? That fight against Gervonta Tank Davis, I feel like he could have came out differently and had a different result, of course, but he was moving forward, wasn't able to use that counter left punch of his, that check left hook that knocks out a bunch of opponents, and I think that was his downfall. But besides that, let's get back to the main focus here. Luke Dimitri's earnings, 8,000 euros, I'm pretty sure that is, 114 fame and nine staff XP. Two up in the WBC, one in the WBO, and that is the ranking change. An F opponent rank, C offense, A defense, B accuracy, A damage management with an A result. Only a C, really, only a C overall rating for the coach. I think that's just overall. Overall rating for the fight, a C and seven coach affinity. All right, I got evade punches up one, and I think that's pretty much all the fights for this episode. Nine on the score sheet for him, four knockouts and zero losses. 21 years young, Lucas Dimitri will be the GOAT one day. He is the myth, but not yet the legend. It's been Frank in the Square Boxing Ring. If you enjoyed, drop a like down below and subscribe for more uploads like this. Peace out, everybody, and stay safe, y'all.